Good morning from Penny Scola. Good morning. We got up really early to get the sunrise for you. We've just missed it by about three minutes. Still looks beautiful though, look. Check Honestly, it was all pink about, we just left the campsite two minutes ago. Running up this road <laughs> just to get here. And it's the same every morning, you get the most beautiful red and pink skies, but we've just missed it by a minute. But never mind. Never mind, it's bright and early, Penny Scola. Yep. This is the earliest we've been out in a long time. Because... Maybe ever. <laughs> because generally it's not worth it in Spain, is it? Nothing's sort of yeah, open nothing's by open. 10. But no, this morning we're heading straight up to the castle. I think we were awake at about half four, both of us. Yeah, um, I was up at half five. <laughs> so yeah, had a shower, set off early, get yep. up there and have a great day, so come with us. <laughs> So one thing we've noticed on our campsite, Camping Eden. What's that? There is a sign up saying do not feed the cats. If you're caught feeding the cats, yeah. <laughs> uh, you'll get kicked off the campsite. Yeah. So I just thought I'd better put it out there. I know we have done in a few places. We haven't seen signs saying not to though, have we? No. But they... But I do know certain districts are strict on it and some aren't. Yeah. Because some places have because big problems. Because some places we've been to, they've actually been feeding the cats, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, so, yeah. So I just wanted to point that out because I don't want us to have encouraged you to do the same when you come over to Spain. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to be doing it again now on this trip. No, no. That's still, put me off. We've still got cat food, but we'll keep it for... That's that's just put me off. You know, you don't want to get kicked off a campsite for feeding them. No. But, uh, yeah, I just thought I'd put it out there. I don't want you getting into trouble because of it. Well, because of me. It's now my we are, fault. We are wondering what's going to be open today, but you... There was a couple of, or a comment or something. Yeah, there, wasn't there? Was, there were a couple. Oh, a couple, yeah. Saying basically January in Spain is dead. A lot of places just shut up and they don't open again till Easter, some of them. Even Benidorm now. Even Benidorm is dead yeah. apparently. All so, the English have gone home. I feel like we got a good couple of weeks there that we were there, yeah. didn't we? Yeah. Because I've been thinking on this holiday, on this trip. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> It's maybe a maybe it'd have been better to go later in the year and get back at the beginning of March so when we can get on a seasonal pitch. Well now it's But now I'm saying Did you realise, yeah. Yeah, forget that. Yeah. We came yeah. at the right time. <laughs> All the dog walkers are out. And there's even two people swimming out there, believe it or not. Show them the castle, will you? Yeah, the day is starting to look beautiful. Whilst we're just walking along then, we did have a question or two. Uh, someone was asking, but Mazzy was asleep last night. We were in bed when I read the comment. Um, wanted to know what make your new handbag was. And it's, is it Annika? I think it's Annika. We're not sure how you spell it. Something like A-N-N-I-K-A -A or A-N-I-C-K-A -A or K-K-A. Not sure, you'll have to look it up, but... Uh, I haven't got it today. Sorry. They do some amazing handbags. Oh, amazing ones! Yeah, really lovely. So I hope you can find it online. Yeah. Google it. Look at the sky behind us. Look on the camera. I mean, don't it look beautiful? Aren't we so lucky? Yeah. I've actually been trying to change the settings on this this morning without any luck. I think because it so, was so dark yesterday, it was struggling in low light. Oh. Um. All I've managed to, I don't know how to do it. So all I've managed to do is put higher resolution on it. It might make a difference, we'll see. Another thing I noticed yesterday is the camera was always pointing at myself um, so. instead of what we're looking at. So I'm gonna try and point it the other way more this time. Oh. You know what I mean? I was fed up of- selfie. Like yeah. I was fed up of looking at myself, <laughs> I really was. Um, right, can someone tell us about this? Does that say, it says no a la compra illegal and it says la compra de products something or other. Is it trying to say no, you're not allowed to sell any products here? Because this is exactly the spot where the lucky lucky guys were selling lots yeah, of products well, yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. It's been crossed out on that sign up there. Anyway, as you might have noticed, we've not got the scooter this morning. No, we decided to take a nice stroll. 
It's not, it wasn't worth it, was it? By the time you got the scooters out, we would have been up here. Well, <laughs> honestly, we're, we're here pretty much. We're in town, at the yeah. beginning of town, yeah. and we don't feel like we've set off hardly, do we? No. So Buzzing to small. <laughs> no, done a mile already. The things we do just to get a picture look. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking this morning if if you got here at the right time you could get a wonderful like silhouette sunrise. Yeah. With the castle and the sun and everything. That's quite nice what I've done there. So you're trying to concentrate on oh, the it's sky. Yeah. It's so annoying though that the yobs have put I know, I was just thinking that the amount of people that come here and get their photos done with yeah. it. And they think it's they probably think it's really cool because their name is all over the world in everyone's pictures. Yeah. Come here, Mazzy. Come here. <laughs> I nearly forgot the dragon. You know how we told people to tell us what the meaning of the dragon was? Yeah. Not a single person told us. So oh, really? I had to look it up myself. Yep. The dragon, right? Basically, the castle was built by the Knights Templars between 1294 and 1307, right? And many armies back then were sent to Africa and the Middle East to slay the dragon. The dragon is basically anyone who is non-Christian, people who are into Islamic religion, stuff like that. So all the people from, all the Moors who they're fighting against were Islamic and coming from Africa. And that's the dragon. So the Templars are slaying the dragons. Interesting. I think that's right. <laughs> you think? <laughs> so we just passed a public toilet back there. And we've seen these before in... Um, where was it? Where we got off the boat? Santander. Santander. We saw them. I'm going to turn it round again. <laughs> yeah, they don't want to see us. <laughs> um, <clears throat> the toilet's there. Basically, you go in, do your business, come out, and then it locks the door behind you, and it cleans itself. So you've got like a, a red button, which means it's out of order, amber means it's in cleaning, so you have to wait a few minutes, and green means you can go in. So every time someone comes out, it cleans it all. I don't know if it just like sprays everywhere or what. Yeah, it does, yeah. It takes about... A lot of public toilets do that when they're like cubicles like that. I've never seen it in, in England. Yeah. Do they do yeah. it? So yeah, self-cleaning toilets. Right, we're nearly at the bottom anyway, look. Well, let's, this hang on, let's exciting. just, let, I haven't finished that one yet. What? It does clean the toilets, but it doesn't get rid of the smell, which is no, why we didn't use it. I didn't use it. <laughs> A man just came out before us. <laughs> yeah, it's starting to look quite nice, isn't it? Yeah. It's looking steeper and steeper the closer we get. So the sun's shining on the other side of Peniscola, but we're in the shade, the sun is hiding behind the castle now. We came right down the bottom there somewhere, didn't we? Um, yeah, we, we came from probably, right over there somewhere. Yeah, probably is near the bottom there, yeah. Quite a long way really. Nice. It's not. I want one. <laughs> it's cheap tack. I like it. No, can't say I'm a big fan, I'll be honest with you. I don't know which way, so I suppose it's up here anyway. I don't know, it might be up here. We don't want to go the wrong way, so I want to check Google out. I think it's up here, look, you can see sort of something going up, you see it? Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'll follow you. So here we go, up the steep hill. The bells are ringing out. Done a first flight of steps and I'm already... <laughs> <laughs> Check these out though, they must be selling stuff. Yeah, little stalls. Long, there is a few shops we've just passed and cafes, which yeah, cafes one of them was actually cookies. open. Yeah. Yeah, it's starting to look castle-y now. Um, I did try to watch El Cid last night, by the way, guys. Oh, did you? How'd that go? Well, it's three hours, ten minutes long, and I saw <laughs> uh, about half of it. Oh, okay. And it started off all right. It's the kind of film I'd have loved when I was a child. Yeah. But I just didn't want to dedicate another hour and a half. <laughs> you know, I'd, I'd done enough. <laughs> it, it wasn't bad. 
It was wasn't it a bad. Kids film then, was it? No, it's like a hero. Oh. You know, like, well, El Cid is the hero. I think he's based on a real man from Spain who was like the Spain's biggest hero. Um, and his nickname was El Cid. Oh, this is nice up here, isn't it? It's getting nice, yeah. Speaking of which, El Cid. And I did get the year of it right yesterday. So it had Charlton, Heston in it and Sophia Loren. Um, you can see what kind of film it is there, can't you, Mazzy? It's yeah. that kind of periodic thing. And it, it was all, all filmed around this castle. Well, that's Actually, you said before you'd mentioned all that, that they'd even um, done the castle up for the film. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? What am I trying to say? Uh, you hold this and I'll tell them. <sighs> So the castle, yes, I needed my notes. I made a few notes last night, not many, don't worry. Um, built by the Knights Templar, about 1300. The castle where Pope Benedict lived, right? I'll go into him a bit later. Because, no, I'll go into him now, shall I? Pope, Pope Benedict was called Pedro de Luna. The castle is called something like Caso de Luna. <laughs> <laughs> can't find a single... <laughs> it doesn't even tell you, man. Cut that. I'll start again when we're at the top. No, the simple fact I was going to say there is they restored all the castle a, a year before the filmed El Cid, so I'm guessing they did it especially for the El Cid film. So that's that bit. Look at this for a beautiful angel. I bet that looks fantastic lit up on a night underneath this huge palm tree. Underneath the walls, the beautiful steps. I can imagine. Oh, another one there. What a lovely setting. It's interesting up here. She's going on without me. Lots of like little tunnel things. Come on. Yeah, I think this is some way should come on a on a night. It's got all the Christmas lights, big bauble there, all along it's the. It's everywhere. Yeah, there's loads of them. I bet it looks beautiful on an evening. Yeah, yeah really nice. And they have a public toilet down there, look. You wanted to go, didn't you? <laughs> toilet. These are good, aren't they? It's all... They should put displays behind them all, shouldn't they? Oh, yeah, that would be nice. Yeah, so this is all part of the castle grounds. It's like an island. They uh, should pay for people to come in here, even if it's just the five for each. To keep, you know, with the upkeep and the maintain... And the well, they do, for the castle. You have, oh, right. you have to pay to go in the castle. I don't think that opens till half ten. Oh. Uh, I just noticed this one over here, though, Mazza. They've they have gone to town on this one. Yeah, that's nice. They've done a proper oh yeah proper Christmas manger and everything. I wonder how far back that cave goes. Jesus in it. Oh, that's lovely. Okay, so you've got a king, one king, not three. Don't get that. We've got an angel up the top there, look, as well. Oh, yeah, an angel at the top, and who's this? Uh, if that's meant to be Mary, which I'm guessing it's not, where's Mum and Dad? Where's uh, Joseph? I bet it looks beautiful, though. Yeah. Yeah, really nice. And it's, we're starting to get above the walls now. You can sort of see, sort of see. Yeah, over. we're starting to see over. Right, onwards and upwards. So this is all part of the old town now. Starting to look beautiful on the way up to the castle. It's very Spanish, it's lovely. It's got character, isn't mm. it? They've got a tarot thing there, Oh yeah, we have to... Oh, let's have a look at that, Mazzy, because it might uh, have a good view from here. Maybe not. Oh, oh yeah, oh, look at this. Oh, wow, well, listen a bit. We're getting a view. Oh, wow! So yeah, we've come from right over there. Yeah. I'd say just where the tree starts there, all the way along. It doesn't look like we've got far more to go, does it? Oh, so that's the side we haven't we haven't never been. No, you have got another beach there, but that looks dark as sand, doesn't it? It doesn't look yeah. as nice as over here. We've got a load of motorhomes down there, that must be an air. Motorhomes, yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. And again over there, look. Just right at the back of the town. 
so yeah if you're ever coming here I'd say shop around if that's the right word uh, for, for your, for your airs because there does seem to be yeah. a lot of them there's some quite far out but then you've got these on your doorstep it's closer than our campsite isn't it oh we've got the um, the church over here You've got yachts, yacht, yacht, not yachts, what's it called? Yeah, yachts, or trip boats or whatever. Yeah. I'll tell you what else was filmed here. What? Season six, not the all season six, but they did a bit of filming here. Oh, you mentioned this, what was it again? Did I? Yeah, to me you did. Game of Thrones. Oh. Game of Thrones, honestly, Game of Thrones has been filmed at every castle. <laughs> They've been all over the, the world. world. <laughs> but is that the one you were telling me about the other night where apparently it was supposed to look like it's been filmed in Valencia? Do you remember you telling me this? No, the, basically. Oh, is that the. This castle, this yeah. whole place, the castle and all this old town. Yeah. They try and make out in the film El Cid that this is Valencia. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Obviously, it's not. It's Peniscola. Do you know what Peniscola means, by the way? Peninsula! 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 <laughs> Peninsula! Simple as that. Yeah. It doesn't mean Willy Pepsi like I thought it did. <laughs> See, look, if you look up there, it don't look like we've got far to go, look. We can do this! It's not going to be that hard. No. How no, hard can it be? It's been pleasurable. I'll huh? tell you what, that other one was hard. Do you remember the, We've what been was to the a last f one we I went don't know. up really high? We've been to a few <laughs> hard ones, but no, yeah. this isn't no, this one's hard so far. Yeah. It's not even steep like the one we've... We've done steep ones. This isn't steep so far. Oh, it's so nice. I think there's probably about five different roads you could walk up. Yeah. I think don't know which one to go up, but we've always got options of coming back down. Mm. <laughs> I think it's quarter past nine. Uh, by the way, this is suitable for push chairs and wheelchairs. Oh, I don't know about that. No, everywhere, we, every turn we've gone, you either got the steps or you can go the other way and it's sloped. Mm. We haven't so got far. to the top yet, though. No. <laughs> I won't be <laughs> too Promising. sure yet. Yeah. Oh. Do some building work on this one. There. Okay, there's a motorbike coming. And there's oh, the castle. Is that it then? I don't know. Let's go up to the castle and then we can come back down and walk around the streets. We'll try. I was expecting worse today. <laughs> right. It's really nice. So it's you've fun. got a street going down there. It looks absolutely fantastic. And here is the castle walls. <laughs> We have seen a really cool man there. I think we've got up these steps here, darling. That'll be the Pope, Mazzy. Oh, yes. That'll be the Pope who the castle is named after, which I'll go into when I can be bothered getting my notes out. You've got a lighthouse up there. Oh, yeah. Shall we go to the castle yeah, gates exactly. first? Because it is closed, so we'll just have a quick look at the front. And there we have it. Having a little bit of work done on it. Not too unsightly though. It's nice. It's nice, yeah. Nice bell up there. I'm guessing that was ringing a few minutes ago. Yeah, it looks old that bell, doesn't it? This is a bell there and there is a church at the bottom. And I'm guessing they're ringing at the same time. Uh, so the Pope lived here, right? About 1420-ish. In this town? In the castle. Oh, okay. He lived in the castle. Uh, Pope Benedict, right? His name was Pedro de Luna. And the castle is called Castle del Papa Luna, so Father Luna. So the castle is named after the Pope. The Pope. I see. So the Pope lived here. And around the corner is something called Buffador del Papa Luna. Yes. Which is the water spray. Which we're hoping to go and see. <laughs> it's a natural phenomenon where water shoots up, you know, like we don't even know <laughs> yeah. if it's gonna be on. I'm guessing it's a bit tidal. It'll only work at certain times of yeah, day. Yeah, maybe know. weather as well. It's around the back of the castle, so we're going to look out for that. And also, this is actually a city, not a town. 
It is. Which I found really unusual because it's small for a town even, I'd say. Mm, I'd say it's, yeah, an average sized town, if yeah. that. But it's known is Peniscola as Gibraltar of Valencia. Yeah. That's one name. The locals call it the city in the sea. Oh, that's nice. And it's a city with only 7,447 people living here. That's not a lot. <laughs> that's not a lot, and they're all in bed yesterday. <laughs> they're all in bed now, apart from them two down there. Yeah, they're Honestly, not... if you want to go to places like this, this is the per perfect time of day to do Early it. Early in the morning. You don't feel silly. <laughs> You know, some people don't feel comfortable on camera. There's no one here. There's no one watching you. You can just film away. Not worry about getting kids in the background. Not worrying about looking stupid. Or oh, noise, or waiting our turn to see something. Just enjoy. Know where we're coming from. <laughs> so that's quite unusual. You have got, I'm guessing that is the Pope, Benedict. You can't get a good picture of him unless you climbed up these rocks, which I don't think would be appreciated. But he's like pointing down there at his his gatherers in the square. At one point he had his eyes on us and it felt like he was following us, mm. didn't he? <laughs> yeah. Apparently he was very careful, very tight with his money. So there's rumours going around that there might be hidden treasure around here. Oh. Um, yeah, well, you were saying last night it cost about a fiver to come in and we were going to do it, weren't we? But yeah, it's five to pounds it. to get in. It doesn't open till half ten. Never mind. Yeah. Uh, the only downside to that is I was hoping it might be the only place you can get the proper view right from the top. Uh, yes. I was hoping you'd be able to walk around it and still get a great okay, view. That. <laughs> which we don't know, we might be able to walk around there. It does look like they have some kind of theatre going on inside the castle. Concerts and stuff, yeah. All year round. Yeah, lots of events going on. Got a medieval looking thing there. And that's at Christmas. Got orchestras going on there, look. Whoop. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, it's well used. Guitar player. At least they're using it though, do you know what I mean? I hate it when mm. you see these lovely buildings and they don't get used. I have... I have seen pictures. Or what? Um, inside, and it does look. Oh, have you? It looks better than the last place we went. Let's put it that way. All oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's there what we they. We might be allowed down here, though. Oh, yeah, we can. That's what the guy. There's a Spanish guy up there trying to talk to us earlier. Yeah. And I'm guessing he was asking what time does it open. Yeah. Because we didn't understand him. <laughs> right. So we are going to get a good view. Yeah. We're just not going to get as high as we wanted to. We're going in the back way. <laughs> <laughs> not for the first time we've... Uh... <sighs> it's actually a lighthouse, isn't it? Yeah. Look, you know, it's working and everything, isn't it? Oh, it's beautiful, guys. Let's have a look. Oh, so good. So that's where we came from, all the way back down there. Yeah, we've come a long way, haven't we? You can hardly see it anymore. Mm -hmm. How beautiful. Yeah, that's as high as we're going to get, I'm afraid. <laughs> Which is a shame. How much higher could we have gotten? Right up to the top. Yeah. The well, top of there. It's the same view, really. When you're this high, a couple of metres don't matter, does it? <laughs> right. Where is this water squirting bit? Is it here? I don't know. It's here or around the corner. This is it. No, it's not, is it? It might be down here. No, this looks like it's blocked off. It was near a restaurant. Lighthouse, active since 1899. A range of 23 miles. Oh, wow. Do you know what? I've got a feeling it probably is down there. To I the think left. It's, it is down here somewhere, yeah, but to the left. we might have to walk around unless you can see it from here. I think you have to wait for the stormy weather as well, though, didn't you? Well, I'm certainly not hearing any kind of water shooting up. No, it's not here. It's not? It's further round. Oh, okay. Look at this lovely little alley. Yeah. We'll keep trying. Oh, that's so nice. 
It is. It's really good. He's certainly enjoying himself. Uh, yeah. Oh, he didn't have to go for me. So I'm just going to leave Dan. He's checking, looking something up. I'm just going to show you this little area. Look, got a nanny nitty tree. Love that. All these lovely, pretty flower pots. It's so Spanishy here. It's. I know it sounds stupid, but it really is. It's lovely. Ah, Christmas decorations. Put them away. Put them away. Yep, so we're heading down. Is that the right way? It's actually at the bottom. Oh, really? Yeah, it's the other side of the island. So How do we get there? I don't know. Let's just head down. Just wander. Yeah. Wander. There he is, the Pope himself. He doesn't look like the statue. <laughs> he doesn't look happy. Hmm. He's a serious guy, darling. Serious. feels so strange coming down the streets, half past nine, <laughs> just dead, absolutely dead. We've seen two other people. Yeah, that's it. A Spanish couple and that is it. Oh, should we go take a walk down there? You've even got a cash machine there. And actually, I think we have to go down there. No, I think, I think we're going to end up going that way, Mazzy, but if you want to have a look down here, it's up to you. I think this is a dead end. Diesel. Oh. oh, are you right? Oh, God. Oh, set the dog off. Yeah, I don't want to go down there anymore. <laughs> I panicked. I grabbed your hand. <laughs> See? You've just woken everyone up, Mazza. I saved you. You really frightened me. Oh, bless you. Yeah, look at this street, look. Oh, look at it. It's so... I was saying to you the other day, if we had a... If you have a house up here, whoever you are, you'd have to jazz it up a bit and make it quite touristy, wouldn't you? Definitely. Yeah, look at this up here, look. In the wall. Yeah, it's not showing up very well. That's a nice uh, tiled street sign or whatever. Oh, you can go down there as well. Oh, this is going to be complicated, isn't it? So there used to be a house here. You can see the tiles in there and the old Fire. cupboard. Oh, and cu kitchen cupboard. Kitchen things. cupboard frames and things. Yeah. Very nice. That's lovely character on its own, isn't it? And someone's gone to a lot of trouble with the plants here. Very nice. We found something special. That is amazing. It's a magic museum. Oh, I wonder if it's open today. The Magic Museum of Spain. I wonder what that's... That? Magic, Mazzy. Is that a room? Please tell me that's a room that you can walk around. I bet you could, yeah. Do you reckon? I don't know. Oh! Gone in there. Oh, you probably can in about July. Yeah. Oh, my, oh, no. Magic oh, Museum no. on this side as well. Herman the Great. No, that's your magic shop. That's where you buy the tickets. Oh, so, it's so that's great. temporarily closed. Yeah, I can see all the magic mirrors in there, though, stacked up against the side. <laughs> tickets, magic shop. <coughs> Hey, right, so we're going down to the bottom here. So this is not far off ground level now again, I don't think. No. And we should be able to look down on this phenomenon in a moment. <laughs> but I don't know, I've just got that feeling we ain't going to see Jack. <laughs> well, we watched it on a YouTube video. Yeah, so but we've seen it, so it doesn't matter. It, whether it really is going to happen today. I bet it's around here, it to is. the left. No, to the right. To the right, is it? Yeah, you know the way I told you. <laughs> so that's where I were confused, because I did read there was a museum down here. Yeah. It's a different museum. This is Museum of the Sea. Oh, it's there's a, a lot down here then, isn't there? It's worth coming on here, isn't it, for the walk? Well, yeah. Certainly when everything's open. Yeah. You'd have a great time here. Um, but that's all your 
I've seen pictures inside. This is a lovely entrance, by the way. Look at this bauble. Okay. If that's lit up at night. Uh, see if there's any pictures here. No, not really. There's a couple of films which have been... Calabuch. Never heard of it. Um, Laura, the pastry of Peniscola. Don't know. Couple of films for you there. But yeah, that's got like uh, fish and... Not fish, anchors and things like that. Bit of sea history. And the thing we're looking for is down here. We have even seen quite a few hotels on here. Yeah, yeah. If you wanted to stay, there's a hotel here. And a hostel. And a hostel as well, yeah. And there's a hotel just there, which is open, s selling food at the moment. This is a nice little seating area. I don't know, the way that water's crashing, we might get this spouting phenomenon. We might be lucky today. Will you hurry up? There's no rush. I'm so excited. Don't worry, we found them. There's Josie from Mary. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Right, nice little setup. So someone's copied over there, aren't they? There's some other kid, it wasn't Jesus, just some other kid in another cave around the corner with a king. No, it's really good though, isn't it? The effort that's gone into this one. Needs lights. Yeah. Would look better with lights. Yeah. Right, we're right next to it, Mazzy. I'm guessing yeah, we either need it. to be up there or just I look think over it's here. Down. It's gotta be down, isn't it? At the sea. It's gotta I, be at sea. I think we need to be up here. So this took quite a lot of finding for us. We kept hearing it, didn't we? We still you made us go up there. Yeah, we've been all around. <laughs> we found the spot, but we're not going to be able to show you it, unfortunately. It's not working today. It's not working. Yeah. It's called the Buffador de Peniscola. And it is a big, deep hole. Basically, there's like a little cave goes under here. And it comes out there. And I'm guessing you have to have rough winds and water shoots right up here. A natural phenomenon, a blowhole burst. We've actually seen YouTube videos on it, and it's yeah. amazing, yeah. I'm guessing you either need the tide to be just right, or it needs to be a bit rough sea. Yeah. Because we've been here about, oh, I don't know, about 55 minutes, and we haven't seen Jack. <laughs> it's good, though, isn't it? Well, it w pff, great hole, Mazza, yeah. We've seen it, though, where all the water was actually coming up past sort of all this, wasn't it? Well, I'll tell you what would be nice. What? Well, <laughs> coming in on a very hot day yeah going to the pub yeah sitting down here round the table just wait just staring at it coming up and down that'd be brilliant wouldn't it what a place for a pub oh i just saw a little bit oh the only bit we've ever seen well i'm not waiting another 55 minutes yeah i just saw a little bit all right you ready then yeah, we're just going to go down this way now because you've got this yeah. little marina bit and then back into town, sort of. This is like the other side, the bar. There's a car coming, Mazzy. Bar seaside. We're best over here. Oh. Let them get such past. narrow roads. They shouldn't be allowing cars up there. Mm. We want to drive up here, would you? Yeah, glad I saw that, though. I would have been gutted if we'd missed that. Wouldn't you? Look at that wild cat there on top of the roof. Just waiting for the pub to open. So there's your gate going up to the castle. It's quite low, isn't it? Uh, probably wouldn't get as much. Oh, I don't know. Might do. <laughs> <laughs> no. You're one of these that'll keep going and keep going and just wait and see if it gets under. Gosh. Oh, look at this, look. It's got like a moaty bit round it. Oh, that's cool. That ain't it, is it? Is, oh, is that the water spurt? I wonder if there's any fish in here. <laughs> so over here you've got a restaurant, Port au Moi. But I've just seen there, God I can't see because the sun's glistening off a van. Uh, Vision Submarino or something. It's a... I'm guessing it's a water bottom boat, Mazzy. Oh, glass bottom boat? Yeah, glass bottom boat. Vision Submarina. Yeah, yeah, that would be good. That would be nice. Yeah. 
we've done that before, that's quite cool. I've never done it. I wonder why the water's coming out of the castle though. It'll be coming off the streets from above. Really? Yeah. And there we go. Big anchor on there. We'll leave the castle at that. We enjoyed that little tour. Yeah, that was good. I had a lot to offer. And in all the time we were up there, we still only saw two people. Yeah. Nice place. Definitely recommend going around that. And, you know, go a bit later if you want, and then you can go to yeah. in the museums and the castle and stuff. They still had a lot more there, but you're back and to and fro on yourself. You have to keep so going up and down. We've done well, haven't we, to show, show as much as we can today. Yeah. Yeah. So that was Penniscola Castle. Ta-da! Hope you enjoyed our tour today. And the old town. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we enjoyed that one. It was good, really good. Um, got quite a lot of footage there, so we're going to cut this off here. Yeah, and carry on with our day. So no, we can't cut it off here, Mazzy. Wow. We've got thanks to give. <gasps> Super thanks! We've got some thanks, nearly forgot. So a massive thank you to Angie Roper. Oh, thank you, Angie. Claire and Nick. Thank you, Claire and Nick. Mad Jack 815. Thank you, Mad Jack. Big thank you. Big thank you. Peter Webster. Thank you, Peter. Tim and Izzy. Thank you, Tim and Izzy. And Lynn and Tony. Thank you, Lynn and Tony. And Tony used to be a postman in Clitheroe. And he, he knows Alfie. You know the Al Alfie, the guy we were uh, talking about the yesterday? The odd job boy. The odd job boy. Yeah. <laughs> Used to see him around Clitheroe. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you for watching today. Yeah. We'll catch you on the yeah. next one. You all have a wonderful day. Come back tomorrow. Bye-de-bye. Bye. -de -bye. Bye.